Hi there, it's Peter Rosenthal, just back from another tasting Wine on Earth uh, in Glasgow this time around. Uh, really impressive tasting, some really great wines as well. Uh, one thing that really struck me was we had uh, a nice dark chocolate dessert, a chocolate tartlet, and we matched it with the Campbell's of Rutherglen Muscat, uh, which is almost a sherry-like wine, uh, incredibly sweet. Uh, I would say you know, you have to kind of compare it to uh, like a tawny, the cross between a tawny port and a very sweet sherry. Um, the match went really well, particularly with the chocolate, which is a difficult thing to match, but um, it was really impressive. So there's a little tip for you. But the wines that I chose for today are the Tim Pot Hut Sauvignon Blanc 2009 from New Zealand, Marlborough. And to be exact, uh, this is from the Abateri Valley, which is uh, the southern part of, uh, of Marlborough. Uh, really, really nice, very typical um, New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. Marlborough kind of stands out because you get a lot of these very um, typical green flavours, like you know, asparagus, capsicum, that sort of idea. A little bit of um, uh, a more nettly type of aroma, but also some pretty good uh, fruit in terms of passion fruit. Um, so really ripe, and it's one of those styles that you wouldn't really mistake for anything other than Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc. Great acidity is what hits you straight away. There's a little bit of sugar on there, so you it's not sweetness, it's ripe fruit. But um, what it means is that the acidity doesn't overpower. For Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc, it's very decent value as well. Timple Hut, interesting outfit, uh, relatively small production. The reason I call it Timple Hut is because in, uh, in Marlborough you have a lot of these, um, what well, a sheep country really. Um, so the corrugated iron huts that they use for like sheep shearing and you know giving them shelter etc. Um, they're known as Timpot huts locally, uh, and obviously what that what this wine is referring to. The second wine I chose from the day is not necessarily my personal favourite, but uh, I think it has a bit of an interesting story attached to it in terms of uh, what happened when we tasted this. Um, it's Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, from the McLaren Vale, 2008 vintage. It's the Mitolo Jester. Um, we've tried the, the Shiraz before, which has also been very successful, but I think this is a very typical McLaren Vale Cabernet Sauvignon uh, with lots of ripe fruit. It's got an incredibly juicy nose, sweet nose almost. Blackcurrant pastels stand out for me. A little bit of cher cherry fruit perhaps. And when you smell this, I don't get an awful lot of spiciness on the nose, but you do get that slight lifted character, which I think is due to like eucalyptus. Uh, and what you often find in Australia is that eucalyptus trees might grow around about where the vineyards are, and you sometimes get some of that character uh, in, in these particular wines. It's incredibly soft, velvety. Uh, very soft tannins, quite a rich palate, but there is a dried fruit character there, as I said. And one of the, um, the guests at the tasting today actually thought, we, we tasted this blind, and she kind, of, she kind of said to me, look, is this a tannin? And I was asking her why she thought that, and she said, well, I'm a real fan of Amarone, and I get some of the Amarone character, so I'm thinking, is it maybe a Valpolicella or something like that? Now the interesting thing is that what she picked up on was this kind of dry fruit character. And what Mitolo have done in the production of this, that 20% of the grapes they've used have been dried and subsequently added later on in the fermentation process. And this is essentially the process that is used in, Amar in making of Amarone uh, or even a Valparicello Ripasso. And she's basically picked up on this, which I thought was quite impressive and that's why I kind of picked this wine out, because it is a fairly unusual way of doing things. So here's to my two wines today, the Temple Hut and the Vita Logista. Enjoy. Cheers.